my lovely Capricorns. Just to let you know, I have a workshop that starts July 24th. My workshop is all about healing, manifesting your desires, and getting out of a place of stagnancy. It is going to be about raising your vibration and attracting things to you. So if you are looking for a supportive community of like-minded spiritual people like myself, join me for my four-week workshop. I'm really excited to meet you. I will be doing live readings during our workshop sessions and also releasing old stagnant energy if you feel like you don't have the right people around you to support your journey if you feel misunderstood misled then come join my workshop baby all right um the link is going to be in the description box if you would like to sign up. And once again, it begins Wednesday, July 24th. And we will meet on Zoom once a week for four weeks. So if you are available, if this is something you feel will benefit you in your life, then I am excited to be of assistance to you. Let's remove blockages. Let's raise your vibration and let's attract in the life you've always wanted. So let's go into your reading. So for your reading, okay, there's there's a few things that are coming out for you, Capricorn. The first thing, if you are single, people might be trying to like hook you up or you could be on dating apps trying to meet new people. Now, if you are not single, I see you recapturing the romance in your relationship. I see a surprise. You can have a surprise dinner. Um, with you and your lover, you guys can be going to restaurants. I see a vision of a boat. You can be on a cruise or just going for a nice ride on a yacht. <laughs> just the two of you. All right. So those are the two energies that I felt. So let me tell you what the season is going to be for you, Capricorn. You're going into a season where simplicity is going to be important. Um, you're coming out of a place of just feeling overwhelmed and just feeling pressured by life. And it could have been just you pressuring yourself. You just, just beating up on yourself, feeling like you have to have things done right this second. And if you don't get it done, then you could be really hard on yourself. It could be pertaining to work or just goals that you have. All right. You could have felt really, really pressured about your goals, really pressured about the future. You could have been beating up on yourself. Why am I doing this? I'm so tired of this. Why am I doing that? Like overplaying mistakes you could have made. You could have just been in your head. Um, being in your head too much also can put you in a, in a place of stagnancy and frustration. But I see you walking into a season where you're trying to keep things more simple and you're trying to be mindful about being present. So only focusing on today, only focusing on what's in your control and what's not out of your control. You taking it easy and just enjoying life a little bit more. All right. Like I just see you being happy with nice weather, nice weather, a beautiful drink. And just flowing with life. You're going to be surprised of how you just start to flow with life and just slow down a little bit. You know, you're just going to slow down a little bit. Um, and as far as your love life goes, let's see what's coming into your love life specifically. I knew it. You have new love coming in. Now, there's two things for you. You have a new lover that you're going to meet. Somebody could be hooking this person up with you or you can just meet this new person spontaneously. And for others of you, it can be a renewal of a connection where you guys are healing the drama. You guys could have been going through a lot of drama in your relationship and you are healing your relationship and it's a it's a renewal. Others of you, like I said, is this going to be brand new love, a person that you've never, ever met and will instantly put you on a pedestal. This person is going to put you on a pedestal. They're 
They're going to be inviting you out to places. They are going to be, ooh, this person is excited about you, Capricorn. A new person that comes into your world is going to be really, really excited. They're going to be calling you a lot. So if you like to talk on the phone, if you like good conversations, so does this person. If you like good food, so does this person. All right. They're going to be really excited. So spirit wants you to be optimistic about your love life, especially if you are single and you're losing hope. People find that there's just something really special and really unique about you. Um, yeah, look at you. So you're clearing away, letting go and moving on. You're releasing the old. And you're welcoming in the new. Once again, if you were in a connection with someone, um, you can also be releasing what happened in the past. You can be releasing any resentment, any anger that you had toward each other. You could be releasing it and renewing your connection. I just see you having boundaries. Another thing too, let me say something about this renewal. If you have a relationship that is going through a renewal or a transition and the reason why this person wants to make sure they stay with you and you are the safest option to them. You are so, so safe. They feel like there's something about you, like you touch their soul. Some of you are very, very nurturing and they love like you have this down to earth side to you where you're very, very funny. They like the way that you explain things to them and you express yourself. At first, when they met you, baby, they could have found you annoying. Like, oh, you're always complaining. You're always asking about things. Why are you, why you gotta, why you need to know so much? <laughs> Capricorn, they could have tried to come for you, baby. Capricorn, they came for you. They wanted to know why you need so much. Why you ask so many questions. Like, what's wrong with you? And now they're starting to realize that. The connections that they were attracting in the past were very, very shallow. They were boring. Mm, damn. I mean to say like that. I, I got a thing against like boring people. But anyway, but but don't I'm not coming for nobody if you guys are coming like, well, I'm boring. You know, different strokes for different folks, but this person's past connections was very, very boring. It was very surface level. There was no substance to it. It was like routine-ish. They knew what to expect. They knew they could have argued a lot with the person. It just, you bring a different element to love that this person never, ever experienced before. And this is what makes you stand out for the from the rest. It's important for you to know that. A lot of people don't know the value that they truly hold. A lot of people don't know what they mean to other people, you know? Um, but this is what it is. You bring a different level of intimacy and connection to love. And this is why this person really, really wants you. If you wanted to know about the new person you're attracting and they are single, all right? So if you were in a season where you always attracted like players, or people who had third parties, third wheels, you know, you felt like, damn, why I keep meeting people that are already in connections are still attached, right? Because there are people that they're single, but they're not free, baby. It ain't nothing like being single and free from emotional attachments. This person is single and free. However, they could have just felt like love was this pointless and boring until they met you and this is the reason why they you gave this person a different perspective when it comes to love that's what you did they feel like they're better off with you you bring a lot of happiness it's even i'm even getting a download that this person even seen even sees signs and synchronicities when it comes to you so let me tell you if this person speaks to you capricorn and they're saying why well, I keep seeing the number 1212? This is so crazy. Every time I turn, it's like out of nowhere, I see 1212 or I see 1234. Like they're going to be coming to you with number synchronicities. You're you're going to you're going to notice that if they speak about this, this is your person, okay? So they're going through a huge transformation and you are connecting to this person to help them and for them to help you open up to a new energy around love. 
So you're going to just have to decide if this is something that you want. Do you want them? Only you will know. Now, for this, yeah. Some of you, the reason why you're walking away and you have, some of you have no choice. You have no choice but to walk away and find new love because you could have felt trapped to a situationship. You were trapped to a situationship and this person could have told you that they're going through a breakup, they're going through a divorce, but it's crazy. If you were, if you were in a situation like this where the person says, oh, I'm going to leave I don't know why the name Amanda just came out. <laughs> you could be Amanda. Your your cross watcher could have been with somebody named Amanda. But they said that they were going to break up with somebody that they still feel trapped to. And they're trapped to this person because of karma. Like karma just means they come together. They argue. They clash. They break apart. During the break apart is where they may latch on to you for affection when they're lonely and their child's mother child's father or ex is is beating up on them and they need an escape through you so this is what the person was going through it's almost like when when they would feel alone they would cling on to you but then tell you how much they don't like being with this person they would tell you that they're done with the person they would you know have all these harsh things to say about the person but what you didn't know is that in the background they would try to to get things right and then have a big clash or fallout and argument all over again and then come back together so if this person left you hanging it just means because now they're doing good they're doing good with their person again every time they're doing good with their person you won't hear from them all right. And you're you're freeing yourself and putting boundaries up with this person because you're tired of them treating you like this. You're like enough, baby, 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 enough. It's either you with me or you're you're not with me, but you are going to choose you. This is what you're releasing. You're releasing people that you have these strong sexual connections, but they never lead to nothing because the the person is always hanging on to somebody else and you get tired of feeling left out you get tired of feeling strung along you you get so so tired so for you that's that's why spirit is saying it's your choice people don't really understand how much power they hold you get to choose sometimes you know what it is you're so attached to the person or you love making love to them or they have some level of emotional connection with you and you could be addicted to the to the good feelings when you guys are doing good and it can make you feel as if this is the person I'm meant to be with but if they are one foot in one foot out with you one minute they're done with their ex the next minute it's just gonna leave you feeling like resentful and with a bad taste in your mouth about love and about the person so I just see you breaking free and putting up boundaries some of you can be straight up just blocking this person baby Maybe you hitting the block button real fast because you don't want nobody to treat you like you are not enough or you're not worth investing in or you're not worth prioritizing or you're not worth committing to. You don't want to have those feelings because feelings like that will play on your self-esteem and make you leave you with a bad taste. So I see you having to make a choice to to leave things left unsaid so you could be going through a no contact con con uh, situation there's no closure there's no there's no contact between you and this person and you're just you're even feeling like you're better off all right so this is what you're going through transitioning into being single or going back to someone else and the connection is going to be renewed so for the person that left you out in the cold, let's start with them. The person that left you out in the cold, how do they feel about you right this second? If you were left out in the cold, if you had a situation that it, it just seemed stuck, it just seemed stagnant. You just didn't know what was up with this person. Like, let's see how they feel about you now. They feel the way you feel. They feel like things are stuck. 
they feel you feel gaslit by this person they feel like you think that they're a gaslighter and that they like to lie and use and manipulate and try to control they feel like that's how you see them you know and you're trying to take your power back they they know that you that you feel this way they feel like you're you're holding your ground you're standing your ground and you're taking a break so they this person knows that you're not putting in any energy towards them right now they know that um how do you see them right now? How do you see this person? Damn. You see them as a player. You see them as somebody who has a third party. You see them as somebody that you need to curse out and cut off for good. This is how you see them. Like, man, I'm about to cuss this person out. Tell them exactly how I feel. And I'm about to be out. See, the two queens. You feel like they have other options and that you want to curse them out, baby. You feel like you just want to move on. All right. And sometimes it looks like you could be in two minds. Sometimes you wish this could just take off in the way that you want it to. And other times you just want to just move on and let go. But this person knows that you feel like they are a gaslighter. They know that deep down inside you're very, very disappointed in them. They know this. What about the new person? The new person that you're dating. Let's see. For the new love right here, how do they see you? How is this new love going to see you? Oh, as sneaky, honey. This new love is going to find you to be sneaky. This new love is going to think that you are hiding other options behind their back. <laughs> That's how the new love will see you at first. And then there's a part of them that also feels like you are trying to walk away from people that cause you drama. You could have communicated this to them that you don't want no drama in your life. You're healing from being betrayed and that you only want connections that are equal reciprocity. So you could have told them they feel like you do communicate honestly. They just don't know. They feel like you could be hiding something about your love life or even wondering, like, do you and your ex still, um, do you and your ex still argue in the background? They're just curious. How will you see this new person? You will see, like, this person... You like you're going to like the way that they communicate. You're going to like the way that this person articulates themselves. You're going to feel like this person is looking for real love and growth in a relationship. And you can also feel like they're a hard worker and they sleep a lot, but sometimes they can overanalyze things. You may feel like this person is a big thinker and they're really really stressed. All right? You may feel like they stress themselves by overanalyzing situations. But they're a big lover. They're like somebody with a big, big heart. That's how you will see them. All right. What else is going on in your life? Oh, money and manifestations. Look. Money and manifestations is coming towards you. But you're going to be a little stressed. I wonder why. Oh, I did say that in the beginning that you're going to be stressed because you're being hard on yourself, right? Then I, why are you stressed? You know why you're stressed? You're obsessed with getting your wishes off the ground now. And some of you are really, really like stressed and obsessed with like you're ready to settle down. You want to know now like whether a connection is going to work, whether it's worth your time, you know? Um... Yeah, it's like you're waiting. You waiting on the outcome. You waiting on things to come into fruition was stressing you out. But it is. You're in a season where you're giving birth to new things. All right. You're going to be taking more risks. Some of you could be taking a vacation or you could be going someplace fun with your kids to like Six Flags. All right. See, look, simplicity. 
You're going to be living way more simple. You're going to stop stressing yourself out or over analyzing things or being being fearful. You're going to take risk into brand new changes. Spirit wants you to be still more. Be still. Have faith. Be still. Have faith that things are actually working for your greater good and not against you. Someone feels like you're punishing them. They feel like you're purposely not talking to them and you're holding back because you you want to you want to punish them. Somebody feels that. Um, I don't know. It could be a friend. It could be a family. It could be anybody. Somebody just feels like you're punishing them for work. Spirit wants you to trust. Trust that the changes that you want in your finances are coming. Some of you be prepared to get more job opportunities. If you were looking for a new job or if you were looking for more clients, be prepared to get more clients or be prepared to get more options and opportunities to make more money on the side, baby. If you want to know more about the two people in this spread, you can come over on the extended with me. I'm going to do a full spread on your new person i want to know what their intentions are what are they hiding and what is the possible outcome between you and the new person i also want to tell you about the old person let's do a quick full spread on the the old person that you feel left out in the cold by um and see what the outcome is going to be with them i'll also go over your your family your friends your children and whatever else comes out on the extended, the extended will be in the description box. Love and light, Capricorn.